This is the unit that we're using. It's a larger unit. This is where it's all gonna happen. We're gonna do some vermicompost tea right now. We're gonna add some kelp. We're gonna just, you know, use this, this micron filter bag right here. So it's gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna cup up right now. Um, you don't need much worm casting. You don't need much compost and compost tea. So it's like a shovel full. A few cups. Three to four cups of worm casting. If you don't have enough microbiology, it won't turn out like you want. Um, and it won't have the effect that you want. And if you have too much biology, you'll eat up the food source too quickly. So with this, I'm focused on a vermicompost tea. This is going to be added to the plants that are both in the ground and in, in planters. In the ground, they're dealing with a lot of acidity, so having the tea be a little bit bacterial dominant is the idea. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna clip it right in, right here. So it's in the center. Right there. It's not too, it's not too, um, too deep. So that this gets, starts leaking out the top. You can already see the uh, humic compounds and the finer particles are just leaking right out through that micron filter. So let's start that up and see what that looks like and sounds like. So what else could you add to this? You could be adding kelp. So we could add a little bit of our kelp meal to this. Got some organic, organic kelp meal right here. So how much would we be adding? Not very much at all. It's surprising how little of these things get added. Um, so I'm just gonna be adding a little guesstimate that much, right? Train things up. The microbes are going to be embodying these nutrients. They're going to be cycling these nutrients. It's gonna make them healthier but then it's also gonna train them to, to be dealing in them so they release them when they are working in the soil. The micro filter bag is having bubbles come up right below it so you're seeing the action happen just amazing and epically. It's all just happening right here for us. So what else could you add to this? So, you could be adding some molasses if you wanted it to go more bacterial, but it's already vermicompost, so it's already bacterial. Um, the kelp is a, is, is a fungal food, it's a mineral supplement, it's really great stuff. Um, you could add some fish emulsion or um, fish uh, chitin hydrolysate or something like that. Um, at this point too and that would make it more fungal but if you don't have those things it's okay if you're in a situation where you don't need back, uh, bacterial dominance don't use that molasses um, but just get out there and get start going um, and even if you don't have a pump that's this big because this is a larger pump for most people um, you're still gonna get action happening you're still gonna get good things happening and your compost tea is still gonna be awesome so don't worry too much about that this is going to be an awesome compost tea, a vermicompost tea, and anyone can do this. This bag, you know, I got on Amazon. Uh, you can click the link down below on my page and, and uh, see my list on Amazon and you can get it yourself. Um, this pump you can get on Amazon as well. You can go on my, on my page and find it. Um, this barrel, you know, I, I think they're like 20, 25 dollars or free if you find them. Um, from the right people and yeah I just have a carabiner here and I just have this this tubing and I show you in another video it's down there now but um, the tubing is just uh, connected with these little connectors 
and that's all you know th th that's all it is it's just tubing and then I've got a stainless steel or ceramic covered stainless steel metal um, piece down there holding it all down in place so there is super easy to clean super easy to maintain super easy to do and pretty darn inexpensive um, for the amount of incredible benefit that it provides are you making compost tea? What kind of compost tea are you making? Share down below in the comments and let us know how you're making your compost tea, what you're adding to it, and what, how long you're taking. Because I mean, this is only gonna be, it's gonna be hot out here, so it's gonna be a fast reaction. I'm only gonna let this go for 24 or so hours until I start using it. So let us know where you are, what you're doing, what you're using, and your rationale behind it. Because there's a lot of wiggle room and room for improvisation here within compost tea brewing this is why you know dr. Lane Ingham over the years has revised so many times her compost tea recipes and in many ways it's like less is more you add a little bits of these things in the in the life which are little you know love it and react so dive in deep start making compost tea start experimenting and seeing what's possible and, and above all follow your nose if it's anaerobic it's stinky you don't want to be using that you want to you know throw some EM on there and to you know, tackle that and take that back down and then make it make it once again work for you speaking of you could probably add a little bit of EM to this mixture right now and interesting things could happen you could add some keeper grades you could do some experiments look at it under the microscope see what you're creating and see what the new things are happening so dive deep see what's possible and get excited because the soil science mycological world is you know one that we're just exploring there's so much to discover so much to figure out and so many innovations new products and ideas and insights waiting to be had i'm matt powers grow abundantly learn daily and live regeneratively and i'll see you soon <laughs> and hit the subscribe button and, and watch this channel because you're gonna learn a ton all right <laughs>